Hello YouTube, Chester Boyer, and today we'll take a look at the Mugen Gachai Series 11 Junk Stag from Machine Robo Mugen Vine. This is the 11th entry in the Mugen Gachai Series line, and this and this figure can be combined, can make an official combination with Iron Beetle, which I have right here. Before we get to the you know the combination between this guy and Iron Beetle, let's take a look at the uh, Mugen Red Fur. Well, let's take a look at all the modes of Junk Stag, and then we'll show off the combination between him, this guy, and Iron Beetle. Alright, so starting with the head, so you can see he's got some kind of light green, bright green eyes. Um, and of course, you got the crest here, which resembles a stag beetle's um, pincer, pincers. Well, pincers from the stag beetle. And then of course, on the sides of the head, we got the letter J. And of course, we got the mirror J. And of course, here's the color scheme, which is purple, um, black, gold. Well, if you count the stickers, and of course, the chest, and silver. So. So yeah, pretty neat. So, arms rotate all around. Nice and go forward and backward. They can swing off to the side. There's the toe joint and there's the knee joint. So yeah, typical Mugen Rider articulation. All right, let's set them off to the side. Let's take a look at the parts that it comes with. So I got this little piece right here. Of course, we got the big Mugen Vine logo on there. Oh, one little fact about the Mugen Vine logo is that the little quote unquote infinity symbol resemble well I just say there's these two M's that are you know sticking well they're together they do resemble an infinity symbol. So yeah pretty clever um pretty clever pretty clever logo design I will will say. So yeah. And yes of course I got this from an eBay seller so yeah. Because we got this piece right here. Of course we got the sticker that says J so we got the so we got the J, we got the beetle head, we got junk stag. So that's that. And as you can see, this is the combiner head underneath there. So we'll get more into that later. Of course, we got this piece right here with the peeled um, Mugenbind sticker. So yeah, that's that. And because we got these two pieces here, which you could you could pretty much show what they're going to become, what these are going to become later. So yeah, I kind of give you a hint there, but. Of course, on, on both of them, we got the uh, sticker MR Mugenbind MN J. So, so, yeah, that's that. And we got these two pieces, right? And last but not least, we got these two pieces here. We got, th with, um, we got three wheels on each of them. So, so, yeah, that is that. So, with that out of the way, let's take a look at Junk Stag's machine mode. All right, so let's make let's make junk stags machine mode. So for starters, we're gonna go ahead and flip up the legs, well, the arms, sorry. And uh, actually, no, I think you foam. I think you foam it like this. Uh, actually, yeah, foam like this, and then from here, we're gonna fold it, these um, pegs down like this, and you're gonna and you're swing them up like this, and you gotta make sure this little clip here plugs into this peg right here. So. So just like that, and do the same on the other side, just like that. And then you have the bait, and then you have the Moog Ride all ready to go. So, then we're going to take this piece right here with the peeled, um, well, well, this piece right here, and you're going to plug it onto the front like this. And you can see that Junk Stag's Moogin Boy, the Moogin Ride head fits in this little cavity right here. So, just like that. So, very nice and clean. So, that's that. I'm going to go ahead and plug these pieces on. So they go in like this, and they go in like this, and then we're going to take this piece right here with the combiner head, and we're going to plug it on top of this. So, and now, we're going to take these pieces here, and we're going to flip this down, and flip this down. Now we're going to plug on one of these on the side for now, because we need to put this big piece on, like this. And then we're going to plug this piece on there as well to complete the, to complete the machine mode. And you, have the, and you have the machine mode, which is a bulldozer. I mean, and of course you got the name Junk Stag. So uh, basically, it's it's basically referring to bulldozers that aren't seen in junkyards or, you know, yeah, like junkyards or something like that. Since Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty much a bulldozer. Yeah, I mean, we got, I mean, you got the shovel bit. Which, by the way, you can actually move it 
like that. So, but it's gonna be front. It's gonna be you know front heavy. So, so yeah, you could do that. And yes, the wheels do roll very nicely. And yes, there's also wheels in the front. Yeah, pretty cool. So that is the machine mode. Let's now let's take a look at the insect mode. All right. So now let's make junk stags insect mode. So this one's pretty now. So now configuring now preparing the Mugen Roy is pretty easy. So fold, fold up the head and fold in the arms. And I'll, and of course fold, fold down the pegs. That's it. Pretty simple. And you're gonna take these two these two um, pieces and clip them together. And put them onto the front. So just like that. And we're gonna take this little. Now I'm gonna take this piece. Remember, this was the the shovel part of the bulldozer mode. Well, this is gonna become the co the shell of the beetle, the insect mode. So, so basically, you see these two holes right here, and they're gonna go onto the into these two pegs. So, just like that. And I'm gonna take this these pieces here, and they're gonna plug onto the side like this. Again, using these two pegs right here. So, just like that. Now, with this piece, remember this was the canopy part of the bulldozer mode? Well, this is going to just plug onto the back like this. Whoops. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay, so plug this... Okay, well, okay, this one's a tight... This one's actually a tight connection, but... Okay, plug this onto the back first, and then plug this piece on top. Okay. That's that. Now, what are we going to do with this piece? Well, pretty much the best you can do is you, you can flip up the combiner head and turn up in like this. I'll make sure you I'll make sure you fold away this peg right here. And then you use this peg right here and plug it underneath here. And yes, this is actually part of the instructions by the way. So yeah. So the combiner head is kind of exposed in the be in, in its beetle mo the insect mode, but yeah. Well, so you have the insect mode and yes you can tell right off the bat it's a stag beetle. So yeah. Now, much like the uh, now I did now in my Iron Beetle review that I recently did, um, I did compare the Iron Beetle to the Kabuto sector from Kamara Kabuto because it kind of reminds me of it. Well, for this now, same for this one. This reminds me of the the um, was it the Gat Tax sector from Kamara Kabuto? Who I just say Kamara Gat Tax, who's you know his motif is in fact a stag beetle, so kind of reminds me of that except. His suit color is more is normally blue. Well, this one's kind of like a lavender, kind of a lavender color, or kind of a, some type of blue color. But yeah, but yeah, it's a stag beetle. Now, pretty much articulating what you saw is just the pincer claw, the pincers. So, so yeah, pretty decent looking uh, stag beetle. Now, now for the last um, part, we're gonna take the combination between. Well, there's actually two combinations for these two guys, for these guys. Um, well, of course, we're gonna start that right now. All right, so let's take a look. now. Now, for the combination between Junts, well, Iron Beetle and Junt Stag, um, there are two official combined modes. One's called Mugen Sector Double, which is a combined robot mode, and was, and the second one, which is called Mugen Mantis, though, which, according to the name, to that name, it becomes a a mantis. I mean, praying mantis, to be specific. So we're going to start with the combined robot mode. So for starters, we're going to take these two Muganroids, put it on the heads, and swing in the arms like this. Do that to, do that to Junk Stag as well. And there you go. They're done. Well, actually, not yet. Because we're going to take this piece from Junk Stag, and we're going to flip out the combiner head, turn it around, and make sure you flip out this peg right here. And you're gonna go ahead and sandwich these together, so just like so. Can make sure that's all ready to go. Um, you are gonna take what was the canopy part of the of Junk Stag's machine mode, and you're gonna plug it onto the front like this. You're gonna take this piece from Iron Beetle and plug it underneath here, and so there you have the chest. And I come to the back here, and we're gonna plug this piece right here, and make sure that the Mugenbun um, logo is facing out. So, just like that. And we'll set this off to the side for the time being. 
Now we're also going to make the arms. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece that has the, has the little straight line on it. I'm going to take these two pieces here, and we're going to we're going to combine them together like this. And this is going to plug like this. So you got one arm ready to go. Now to make the other, make now to make the other arm, we're going to take the, take these two um, junk stack pieces, clip them together, and clip onto the side like this. So you got the arms. Easy enough. So now we're now we're gonna make the legs. So bring these two pieces in, and you can see there is a peg in here. You're gonna fold that out, and you. I believe oh, I'm trying to remember how it's plugged in. I think, oof. I believe you plug it in like this. Um, or maybe it's the other one. Hold on. Oh, uh, crud. Uh, yeah, I think it's like this. So, making sure that the uh, the silver um, paint is facing inwards. Well, actually... Okay, actually make sure that the uh, the silver paint is facing outwards. So, that's one foot. Same on the other side. So, flip out this peg. And plug this in. Boom. There are the legs. So, just like that. And let's put it all together. Um, okay, make sure you flip down these, these pegs, these, um, pegs down, like this, so, just like that. And here comes the tricky part, so we're gonna plug these all together. So plug that one in, plug that one in, and gonna plug this in. Alright, come on, get in there. Okay. Yeah, this is the hard part of combining Mugenbind stuff, is that... Some things like to pop apart, so just like that. And plug this back on. And finally we can add in the arms. So plug out into the side and plug this onto the side. And there you have Mugen Sector Double. And yeah, he's pretty cool. I do like the color scheme of it. I do like how the red and purple um, clash together. Do you like that? Um. Yeah, it's quite hefty, and he's quite hefty as well. Kind of like, kind of like the. Um, well, actually, since I got Mugen Dino Double, which I reviewed the, uh, which is from my Heat Tricera review. Here's them. Here's them side by side. So I got Mugen Dino Double, and now we got Mugen Sector Double. So. Yeah, pretty neat. And as for size comparison, um, Mugen Dino is just a smidge taller, a little bit taller than than Mugen Sector Double. So yeah, there's that. Um, all right. Now articulation, heads on a swivel. Let's the legs. Um, we're gonna say no. Now the arms are a bit tricky because um because of how because of how tight this these joints are you're going to, have to like set them up which of course I can't do it on this arm because it's so you know darn tight but for the other one I can so so if you want to rotate the arms out you have to like you have to like do it manually so So, so yeah, um, so that, so yeah, there you go, so. So there is, there is arm articulation, but it takes like a lot of force to move the joints, so, yeah. So yeah, the arm, so the arm articulation is there. And yes, of course, there's the pincer. There are the pincers. They can move as well. So that's it for Mugen Sector Double. Let's go on to his second combination. All right, there's one more combined we have to cover, and that is the Mantis mode, or what's called Mugen Mantis Double. So, we're going to start with the, the Mugen Roid, so we're going to fold down the head, and we're going to swing the arms out like this, and that's it. Now, for Junk Stag, the Mugen Roid for Junk Stag, um, just fold them in like this, as you would make, is if you're going to make the, um, 
the insect mode for junk stag. So, yeah, so that's that. And we're going to go ahead and plug these two together like this. Actually, I must go on flip, must have them out first and um, plug this guy in. There we go. Ah, there we go. And fold it like this. All right, so there you have the base body of um, Mega Mantis Double. All right, so now let's make the, let's, we're gonna make the head and neck first. So now start, we're gonna start with this piece. Um, you can see there's a joint right here, so you're gonna fold this down like one notch, and you're gonna take these two pieces right here, and make sure you flip this peg down and plug them into like that, and you're gonna plug these two together like this. And there you have what's the head and neck of the mantis mode. I'm going to go ahead and plug it onto the top right here like this. So that's that. Um, now we're going to make the arms. So um, I think it doesn't matter which one you use, but we're going to use this one here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and plug one of the pincer claws in. And use the top, I'm going to use the top peg and fold this up like this. Do the same on this side. Just like that. So just like that. Uh, okay. Let's bring this guy in. All right, there we go. Let's go rotate this. We gotta rotate these forward. Um. All right. There we go. Yeah, I had to rotate. I had to rotate this just like off cent, off camera. I'm sorry about that. So. All right, so there you go. You have the arms of the mantis mode. Okay, <laughs> so pull it down like this. And actually, we're gonna bring this in again because we're gonna take this piece right here and plug it onto the top like this. And then from here, you're gonna plug these two pieces on to the side like this. There we go, just like that. And now the mantis mode can stand. Now, um, now I'm not sure what to do with these pieces here, which were the thruster bits of um, Iron Beetle. I think all you can do is pretty much, I guess, plug them onto the side like this. Um, I'll just do this later. I'll do it later. Um, oh, man, this thing's so fr it's gonna be it's front heavy once once you fold the arms up. Um. Okay. Um. So basically, I'm sorry for the um, pauses because um because I'm looking I'm looking at the image of the mantis mode here I found online, and this one's like a little tricky to do. Um. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Okay. Okay, so you rotate this for ro rotate this down, and then plug it onto the side like this. Okay. So this makes up the front legs. Makes up the well, I say this makes up the front legs. Um, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this up, fold this down, and plug it onto the side like this. Okay. That's that. Oh, I forgot to um, hold on. I forgot to fold this, this little bit down. There you go. Just one little thing. All right. I guess just plug them onto. I'm just gonna plug them up like this because again, I don't think instructions for the mantis mode. Well, I just say for this combined mode in particular. But yeah, this is pretty much this is pretty much the official look of um, Mugen Mantis Double. And in my opinion, this is like the weakest one out of the two because I mean I do like the combined raw level, which is again Mugen Sector Double, but this um I do I do get what they're going for here, you know, being a praying mantis and all that. Pretty neat. I mean and yes. You can see they're yes, you can tell well you can tell these are the eyes, obviously. So yeah. But I will say this, it does have a bit more articulation than the combined robot mode. You got arms swinging back and all the way around like that, and of course we got the front legs, 
which are popping apart on me. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the combined moats. And I think I, I think this pretty much covers Junk Stag. So overall, Junk Stag is a very nice addition to your Mugumai collection. It's pretty cool that he does com he does combine with his other beetle brother, which is Iron Beetle. And of course to make two combined modes, which are Mugen Sector Double and Mugen Mantis Double. Now of course in my opinion, I think Mugen Sector Double is my favorite one out of the two, because I mean, for Mugen Mantis Double, I do get what they're going for with the design, but it just looks a bit, you know, crazy for me in my opinion. But but it's not a huge deal in my book. So so yeah. So if you if you find this guy on eBay, then please go get it. For a cheap, for a good price, because um, you know these guys are coming rare these days. So, so yeah. So if you're a fan of Mugen Bind, then I do recommend picking this up. So, so next time I'm gonna take a break from Mugen Bind and I'm gonna focus on Common Rider, and that review is gonna be the RKF Rider right Series Common Rider Grand Geo figure. So, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it. If you want to follow my tour and like my Facebook page, the links are down below in the description. So, I will catch you next time.